Honorable Leader of the Opposition. Conservatives would have liked to be working today to counter the doubling of housing costs this Prime Minister has caused, or the record food price inflation, which has been 36 percent higher in Canada than in the U.S. But unfortunately, the Prime Minister has paralyzed Parliament by refusing your ruling directing his government to turn over evidence in the $400 million green slush fund scandal that the, ver the Auditor General says involves 186 conflicts of interest, wow. with the chair of the fund found guilty. What has he got to hide? Yeah. The Honourable Leader of the, of the Government in the House of Commons. Mr. Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition is not being truthful with Canadians. It is the RCMP Commissioner himself who said the RCMP's ability to receive and use information obtained through this production order and under the compulsory powers afforded by the Auditor General Act in the course of a criminal investigation could give rise to concerns under the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. It is therefore highly unlikely that any information obtained by the RCMP under the motion where privacy interests exist could be used to support a criminal prosecution or further a criminal investigation. Mr. Speaker, let's get this. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. This is a $400 million scandal involving Liberal appointees giving millions of dollars to their own companies, and the minister's story is now changing. Yep. Last week, she claimed that the government had given documents to the RCMP. This week, they claim that if they gave documents to the RCMP, it would cause the Charter of Rights to come crashing down. <laughs> it sounds like there's a new story every week to justify paralyzing Parliament to cover up the truth. What is in these documents about this $400 million scandal that the Prime Minister is so afraid of? The Honourable Leader of the, of the Government in the House of Commons. Speaker, this is a typical witch hunt from the Leader of the Opposition to go after people who have nothing to do with this. These are files such as personnel files that contain private information of individuals who have nothing to do with what is going on. Mr. Speaker, it is the RCMP and the Auditor General themselves who raise concerns with this motion, and it is the government's view that we should send this to committee so that we can get on with the important work of this House and protect the rights of Canadians. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. A witch hunt. The ethics commissioner appointed by this government has found the chair of the fund in violation of the law. The auditor general, also appointed by this government, says there were 186 conflicts of interest involving liberal appointees giving millions of dollars to their own companies. $400 million. Potential criminality, according to the main whistleblower in the scandal. Any other employer would ter voluntarily turn over all the evidence to the police if it had been ripped off by its own staff. What is the Prime Minister hiding? Yeah. The Honourable Leader of the Government in the House of Commons. Mr. Speaker, if and when the police request that information, it will obviously be handed over because that is proper judicial process. But when it is Parliament that is doing it, this is where Canadians should be concerned, Mr. Speaker. Because when he is going after the rights of other Canadians, it's only a matter of time before his political vendettas come after the rights of all Canadians. The Honourable Member from uh, Dufferin Caledon. Taxes are up. Costs are up, crime is up, time is up, and corruption is off the charts. A fish rots from the head down. So is it any wonder that Liberal cronies appointed to the Green Slush Fund by a Prime Minister twice convicted of ethics violations engaged in corruption? And this is not small corruption, Mr. Speaker. It's $400 million. And, Mr. Speaker, you ordered the production of these documents. Why won't these Liberals stop the cover-up and produce them? Yeah. The Honourable Minister for Innovation. Mr. Speaker, it's only nine minutes in question period, and slogans are up, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> slogans are up again. Canadians are sick of the art of them, Mr. Speaker, repeating 
the same false things, Mr. Speaker, and repeating the same slogan. What these conservatives are about, Mr. Speaker, is that going after the personal file of employees and former employees. They're targeting STDC today. Who are they going to target tomorrow? That's what on this side that I have. We stand for democracy. We'll stand for rights. We'll stand up for Canada. The Honourable Member from Dufferin Calden. It's pretty simple who we're targeting, Mr. Speaker. We're targeting corruption, corruption that they enabled, Absolutely. corruption that they're hiding, and corruption that they refuse to produce the documents for. Right. Mr. Speaker, these are documents that you ordered the production of. So Canadians should ask themselves, why aren't they producing them? They're not producing them because they are so damaging. They are so bad. They will destroy this government. And therefore, they've used up seven days of House of Commons time to hide their, to hide their corruption. Stop the corruption. Produce the documents. Right. Colleagues, the Honourable Leader of the Government in the House of Commons. Speaker, again, the Conservatives are saying things that are false. The only party that has been putting up speakers for the past week are the yeah. Conservatives. So they are the ones that are filibustering their own motion. But let's talk about why they might be filibustering that motion. Rob Walsh, the former law clerk, said, In my humble opinion, it is an abuse of its powers for the House to use its power to demand a Colleagues, it is so important for us to allow one speaker to speak at a time because we have a very large place here with many members. It's difficult for those who require the use of their earphones to be able to hear the interpretation. So the Honourable government, Leader of the Government, I'm going to ask her to repeat her answer again because I know that I've got some hand signals from members who were not able to hear uh, that answer. The Honourable Leader of the Government in the House of Commons. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I noticed the volume guts up when they don't want to hear the truth. So uh, let's go back to that. The only members of Parliament who have been debating this motion are Conservative members of Parliament. Right. They are filibustering their own motion. And let me tell you why, Mr. Speaker. It might have something to do with Rob Walsh, the former law clerk, who stated, it is an abuse of its powers for the House to use its power to demand and get documents from the government in order to transfer transfer them to a third party that wouldn't otherwise receive them or to compel the government to give documents to the third party. They want to get around the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. They're going after Canadians. Who's next? Here, here. The Honourable Member from Haldeman Norfolk. After nine years of the NDP Liberals, taxes are up, costs are up, crime is up, and now time is up. Mr. Speaker, you ruled that the government has violated the House order to turn over evidence to the RCMP related to the $400 million Green Slush Fund scandal. Yet, the Liberal government continues to obstruct justice by refusing to turn over these documents. When will they end this cover-up and let the House focus on solving the housing, food and inflation crisis that they created? The Honourable Leader of the Government in the House of Commons. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What the member opposite is saying is absolutely false. It is the Conservatives who are filibustering their own motion in this House because it is the RCMP and the Auditor General have, who have both raised their extreme discomfort with the motion that the Conservatives have put forward. If the Conservatives want to get back to work, we are ready to send this to committee to make sure that we can talk about the issues that matter to Canadians. That's what Liberals are here to do. We don't understand why Conservatives don't want to do that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member from Haldeman Norfolk. The truth is, it is the Liberal government that is obstructing justice and holding Parliament in contempt by refusing to hand over documents to the RCMP. Now we know why. The Auditor General has found that the Liberal appointed board members gave nearly $400 million to their own companies. This is happening at a time when Canadians can barely afford food to eat and poverty diseases like 
scurvy have resurfaced in this country. Will the NDP Liberals take accountability and just hand over those documents yeah. to the Canadian. Canadian. The Honourable Minister of Justice and Attorney General. Mr. Speaker, three times in this question period I've heard the Conservatives talk about obstructing justice. Let's just talk about how justice works in this country. When law enforcement wants to prosecute an individual, they... Colleagues, I'm going to invite the Honourable Minister of uh, Justice and Attorney General to start from the top. Mr. Speaker, three times in this question period so far, I've heard Conservatives talk about obstructing justice. Let's talk about how justice actually operates in a democracy. Law enforcement has a reasonable suspicion about an individual or an entity. They then go and seek a search warrant from a court so that they can invade that person's privacy and obtain the documents. Instead of pursuing the normal court processes, we have Conservatives saying we're going to subvert all of that for the purposes of partisan gain. This is what we do in, in a democracy. We stand up for judicial processes and we stand up for the Charter of Rights. We will always do that on this side of the House.